big up to everyone lovely family and lovely friends out there whatever you're watching that we need unity platform from thank you so much and we do really really appreciate your time for always staying here with us at a we need unity platform this video we are driving your attention um to give you the african cup of nation qualifiers matches um some of the matches took place earlier on today and some of the matches are ongoing as we are shooting this video right now and also we're going to be finishing with you ghana black stars um game yesterday analysis as well let's get in very quick earlier this up afternoon mali won eswatini zero mozambique two guinea bissau one rwanda zero nigeria zero south sudan two south africa three Botswana zero equip four Gabon 2, Central African Republic 0, Guinea 1, Tanzania 2, Liberia 0, Algeria 3, Namibia 1, Kenya 2, Zimbabwe 0, Cameroon 0. Some of the matches are ongoing as I'm shooting this video right now. So far, 45 minutes, Beni are down 1 goal to 0 to Libya, Beni playing home. Burkina Faso 2, Malawi 0. The game is ongoing. Kivet 1, Mauritania 0. The game is ongoing 45 minutes. Before I finish this video, and maybe that time they also finish the game. So I'll be putting it on your screen. So far, 45 minutes, Chad 0, Côte d'Ivoire 0. Zambia 1, Sierra Leone 1. That is the African Cup of Nations matches that are ongoing so far now let's come into ghana black stars um analysis that is a two two three things we're going to look at the players commitment and our technical team now we're going to look about the players commitment anybody that watched this game yesterday you could see clearly that there is no any anger there is nothing really so on the guy's face that they really want to win something like when you look at their face that is how Ghana Blasters is they are doing there is no any commitment let me Look at someone like Vishen Abubakar, Cameroon, Gesif Kondombia, Central African Republic, Christopher Katongo, Zambia, Steven Apia, Ghana. Look at these players, Steven Apia at that time, when they are playing and you could see Steven Apia, you could see the sweating, you could see how. And when you look at Solomon Tari face, when you look at Lahe Kingsin face, you could see, you could see that no, these people really want to do something. You could see, and even when they lost a game, sometimes you feel like these people have fight their best. Look at Abvis in Abubakar in Cameroon. When you are watching football, you could see that this guy carried the whole team for his soda. But when you look at the team yesterday, we lack of leadership of the team. You see, a big problem we have here is we 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 guess um, for a lot of English Premier League players, they are more high 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 high, high. now play of because of that even our players any League Four they will go in England, League Five they will go. League one, they will go. Why? Because they knew that going to even League two, League three, they will get something to play. We are helping this English Premier League player so much. We are helping players that play English Premier League so much. That is the reason why our football is not going. We have players that play Saudi like uh, Bernard Mesa scoring goals day out day in. We have players like Bernard Tekpate playing for Bulgarian League. We talk about this guy. We have players that play in Swedish League. Playing Europa League like a Mark Bedu, we have players like 
Ibrahim Sadiq, we have players, a lot of players, but because they are not playing in English Premier League, we will not invite them because they do not know anybody. We will not invite these players. But we will go and bring championship players, we will go and bring League One players, we will go and bring some Premier League players because of the hype of the English Premier League. The English Premier League is gets a hype. That should tell you that if there is a player playing English Premier League to win a trophy, like by now, England should have been winning the World Cup back to back in the, the Europe Nation League. How many years now? Almost about 40 something years. Almost about 40 something years. We learn from them, that is why things are also difficult for the Black Stars. So it is a time to get players that are really hungry to play for the Ghana national team. When you look at the Black Stars commitment yesterday, when you look at there is no player you can point finger at this player, only two players that feel like they was trying their best to push is even the, the defenders, the left back and the, the, the right back. Oh my goodness. Now, let's come for the coaching. Look at how Spanish, look at how Spanish train their coaches. Look at the coach took the Spanish national team, Spanish national team, Luis. To win the the heroes he took the team not quite long ago but look at how they sat him. he louis he sat i'm not talking about louis enrique i'm talking about the coach that in a, a spanish national team right now his name is also louis he sat from under 19. he been in the under 19 spanish used he sat in his career for the coaching side for deportivo alaves Guess one season for Deportivo Alaves. So, the Spanish FA told him, if you really want to become a national team coach, then you need to start from the youth side. He went to take the Spanish under 19 youth side for three good years, learn a lot of things from there. After three years, they took him to the under 21. He been in the under 21 one year to two years. From under 21, they took him to the under 23. From the under 23, he'd been there for three years. That is where they now believe that it is enough. He have learned from here to here, from here to here. He came on, he took Spanish national team. That is first major tournament. He went to the Eros. Seven games without drawing one. Look at even they play their qualifiers. They play the Europe Nation League against Switzerland. They was down by one man. They played 10 against Levin, beating Switzerland in their own backyard. Four goals to one or four goals to two, something like that. Look at how we take any coach. We will not just look at the coach record and we just bring a coach. Do you remember that John Pencil said something that to become a Black Stars coach, you need to start from the youth side. You need to start from there, from under 17, under 20, under 23, before you can have the knowledge, you can understand a lot of things to become a Ghana Black Stars coach. He said that. But you see, a black man is not like a white man. If it is a white man, white man will tell you that, listen, I am not qualified to become a Ghana Black Star Technica team because I haven't learned things yet. But John, John Pencil, I mean John Pencil said this, the end of the day, they called him, he accepted the job, but he knew very well that he did not really qualify for the job. He knew, but he accepted. Black man will never tell you that. No, my level is not there yet. When you come to um, our goalkeeper trainer, Fatou Dawada, if you remember, I think the time that Ghana was preparing to the World Cup, you know when they introduced new player, 
the player have to dance in the camp and stuff like that and they will be videoing or you remember some video when john pencil come out dancing and when he danced a little bit he have to share his experience about football and stuff to the the players and everybody around there and fatawada do you listen to some way that fatawada that said that he cannot tell atiziki what he have to do because he already the level that he is playing he cannot tell him what he have to do he can only guide him one of two things so if you don't have anything to tell lores atiziki what he have to do what is your job there anybody that think can go back and check that video and listen to what he said he said he cannot tell atiziki what he have to do because he's already professional footballer he can only guard him if you don't have anything to improve him if you don't have anything to tell him what are you doing there so you have no business there you have no business there so I mean these guys are guess in the camp simply because they have to be there they have nothing to tell these players they have been back in their mind that these players they are professional they can do whatever they want to do so if you knew that these players they are professionals already they can do whatever they have to do then you have no business there because when you look when you look when you look the players performance yes it is so it is a hard time we need to stop bringing a lot of english premier league players and look players outside english premier league today egypt won 4-0 away there is no any english premier league player there apart from mohammed salah go and check their lineup there is no any english premier league player there apart from mohammed salah but they won 4-0 away algeria algeria today they won 3-0 away against Liberia there is no any English Premier League in the Algeria national team as now check most of the players that most of the players that win their games Kenya they won their game against Namibia there is no any English Premier League player there um Gabon when we meet Central Africa Republic we find it difficult to beat them they beat us in their own backyard they came to Kumasi with struggled to beat them. Gabon beat them 2-0 earlier today. There is no any English Premier League player. It is only Ghana rely on any English players. Players that play English Premier League. So because of that, all our players, they are running so for them to take time and choose a club because they knew they're going to English Premier League. They will get Ghana Black Stars play. So the moment any English, maybe Championship or League 2 or League 3, move for them one touch they are going so all our players that used to perform very well all of them packing themselves for the english championship and because of the hype you think that they are doing something so when asna is playing because of the hype player you see thomas party in the field you think oh thomas party is bad playing football you know that some sometimes the team also hype you real madrid players they have hype not that they are too much good but because of their playing on real madrid so we need to look beyond the English Premier League. Bring players, look at Egypt, look at Algeria, look at most of the, the countries that win their games. Most of all their players play for Saudi Pro League and China and, 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 and other countries. But because we are always watching Premier League, hey, he's playing West Ham, hey, he's playing in, in Leicester, hey, one pass. No, oh, this is the problem. Look at Look at the ball that my brother. If you watch the game yesterday, do you see how black stars in the field? Can you see any commitment when someone is angry for something? Can't you see on their faces when someone really angry for something? You could you you will see clearly what is going on. No, you can't play football like you can you can't play football like this. If you cannot win a jail, then you have no business to go to the African Cup of Nations. What are you going to do there? That you cannot beat Niger. You see Daniel Sousa I talk about. I spoke about yesterday. Daniel Sousa, the number seven. This guy can hold ball and more two, three, five players pass all these guys and, 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 and go through. His mother from Ghana. His mother is a greasy, greasy woman. Daniel Sousa mother is greasy woman. He was born in Ghana. I spoke about it earlier on before the match. 
It is so sad. Now Blasters will be coming back soon. Next month. To play against Sudan home and away. 11th October. So roughly two weeks to three weeks time. They will be calling the squad again. I want Otuado to look beyond the English Premier League. Thank you so much for always staying here with us at Avenue Unity Platform.